Hello everyone, this is me, Isa, and I'm here to play a really, really short game um, called This is Where I Want to Die. This is a visual novel. If you don't like games with a lot of, you know, typing or reading, then you shouldn't watch this. But this is really the Pressing story, that's what I've heard. Seems as a pseudo magician. Let's put the text P to that. Well, there's a lot of things in here, I'm really surprised. And let's just start this game. I have no regrets. Do I need to press something? I had everything, everything I needed. I know exactly what's happening now. I'm dying, slowly. There's nothing the doctors can do about it. My consciousness is slowly drifting away. Suddenly, I'm not sure anymore. Is this my last moment? Or am I dead already? I can't see a thing, so I can't tell. I just hope he's here with me. I wake up, but not really. I feel like I've forgotten something important. All I remember is the pain and the blood. There was so much blood. I hope he is alright. Alright. My boyfriend. He was with me when it happened. It? What happened on that day? How long ago did it happen anyway? Suddenly my head starts to hurt badly. I'm about to pass out. Where am I? Is this the past? This is the day. I know it. This has to be the day I died. Suddenly, someone came out of the house. Hey, I know her. Her name is Anne. Hey, you little turtle doves. You ready? Anne came towards us. Her dress was beautiful. We were at our friend's house, getting ready for a party? I can't remember exactly, but we were about to go. Yeah, we're ready to go. My boyfriend was here as well. All right then, let's go. We left her house behind. Uh, my head hurts so much. What happened after we left Anne's house? No matter how hard I try, I can't seem to get a clear mind. I can't even tell how much time has passed. Or even what's real. I try to concentrate, but I keep failing. There's nothing more I can do but wait. <laughs> she really said that? Definitely. I thought she was kidding. Suddenly, I'm back. Back in the past. Anne and Brad. The two most important people in the world. To me, at least. Anne is my best friend. I'm so glad she accepts Brad. Her opinion means much, so much to me. Brad is everything I ever wanted. He's cute, funny, and he totally cares about me. We've been together for th about three years now. Time really flies. And just then, I remember 
what I was about to do this evening. I want to burst into tears, but I can't even feel myself right now. I wanted to have them both with me when I... Will you tell us what we're here for, Lerdy? <laughs> and look at me. That is my past me. <gasps> Brad looked curious too. I didn't want to do it right here, but I guess I can't hold back anymore. I fell onto my knees and took the little casket out of my pocket. I proposed to him and he accepted. I remember the feeling now. I felt so happy. In fact, it was the happiest day of my life. But what happened? What changed the night so dramatically? How could it be? Did Anne not accept it? Was she? No. I've known her for so long. She would never hurt me. She has always been supportive of me, Brad, of our love, our friendship. I closed my eyes. I wasn't aware that I'd had them open anyway. Although this was the highlight of the day, something else must have happened. In another attempt to recall the events of the night, I see another scene. I can't believe you two are going to do it. I'm so happy for you two. And still had tears in her eyes. I know, right? It, it's such a huge step. And I was really surprised. To be honest, I wanted to be the one to propose. We laughed together while we walked down the street. Here it is, I hear myself say. Wow, it looks nice. I've never been here. I hear the boitzai is expensive. Well, there's a reason to celebrate, right? We looked around. This was it. The most expensive bar in town. Actually, it's something like a mix of restaurant, a bar and a nightclub. Let's sit right here, right there. The evening was perfect. The people, the music, the food, the drinks. Everything was so nice. The best and the best thing, Brad. He only had eyes for me. Would you do is excuse me? I have to use the restroom. I'll be right back. And headed towards the restrooms. You know, I thought about something. Brad sounded serious all of a sudden. What was the matter? Really? What is it? Is it about us? You could say that. Please, just say it. You're making me nervous. <laughs> I laughed. It didn't take long until he had to smirk. I think it's about we... I, I think it's about time we go to the sea. What? I know you've always dreamt about it. The sand, the sun and the ocean. Just the two of us. What do you say? I, I, I'm speechless, Brad. I'm so happy. I planned this for a while. I actually wanted to propose you to you on the beach. Aww. Really? I feel bad about stealing a march on you. <laughs> That's why I love you. You're full of surprises. Anne came back to our table. Did I miss something? Brad told her about his plan. I couldn't believe my luck. Finally, everything was perfect. What could have possibly gone wrong on this night? We were all so happy. 
A car accident? No. No, I don't think so. There aren't too many cars driving in this small town, especially at night. Whatever it was, it must have happened after we left the bar. We left the bar. I'm not sure what time it was, but it was pretty late. The cool of the night was refreshing after the thick air in there. Thanks for this wonderful night. I'm so happy for you. Anne had tears in he her eyes again. Okay, uh, I guess I have to go. Are you sure you don't want to spend the night? We'll be fine. Thankfully, our house is just down the street. Well, uh, then see you tomorrow for brunch. Right. 11am at Blues. Be on time. Brad smirked. I'm always on time. See you. And left. And we waved our goodbyes. I didn't know it was forever. We both walked down the dark road. We talked and we laughed a lot. But suddenly... What the fuck? Are they holding hands? Brad leaned over to my ear and whispered. Just ignore them and keep walking. My heart was beating so loudly, but my boyfriend tried to calm me. I was afraid. Disgusting! One of the guys spat on the ground right in front of us. We walked past them, but then the guy, the other guy pushed me. Brad turned around to face the guy. Hey, stop it, okay? We don't want trouble. Are you talking with me? The situation was getting out of control. He punched Pratt in the face. Blood began to drip out of his nose. This was too much. I freaked. I ran between the two while the other guy just laughed. Stop! I shouted. It was too late when I realized that he had something in his hands. He stuck it into my chest. A knife. I was too shocked to move, but then he pulled it out. Just to stick it in again and again. Blood was everywhere. I collapsed to the ground. Everything went blurry. Everything was red and I could only hear some voices far, far away. Are you insane? You fucking killed! No, no, please. Brad. I was not able to speak. Don't die, please don't die. I don't know how long I was lying there. The sirens drowned every other noise and suddenly... I'm here. I remember now. It happened a few hours ago. The guy stabbed me because I wanted to protect my boyfriend. His knife cut deep into my flesh and bled to death. And I bled to death. Or am I not dead yet? Suddenly, someone grabs my hand. Brad. I can feel the warmth of his hand. My body must be ice cold. He's crying. I feel teardrops on my face as he kisses me. And he whispers. I'll always love you, my husband. I feel the presence of Anne right next to him. I wish we could have gone to the sea together. One day, we'll meet again. I'm sure of it. Now, 
that I know what happened, I can rest right here in his arms. This is where I belong. This is where I want to die. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Stop homophobia. Thanks for reading. Thank you for making this nice visual novel. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm too sensitive for all of this stuff. But yeah, just keep that in mind. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Good night. Bye bye. Shwoo.